fat teenage kisses. Don't know why they do. Welcome, one and all, to Return to Palmdale, a Rabbit Ears live watch of Teenage Thunder, our first of these and probably our only of these. <laughs> With us, and it's all his fault that we're here, the guy who had the idea, writer and producer Dylan Gregory, right above me. Welcome, Dylan. Uh, writer Juliet Sealand, right below me. Welcome, Juliet. Juliet has the distinction of she didn't work on this episode. She has never seen this movie before. She's just terrified. <laughs> and then Matthew Rose, a writer and producer on the show who adores this movie such a how can you not love this movie with such famous lines like, Betty, you want to be my girl, don't you? Or it's dark outside. Yeah. Or of course, That's I'm six. going to Palmdale. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, helping us behind the scenes is actually one of the stars of Rabbit Ears, Daniel Dye, who did not want to sit through this movie again. So, but he's helping us. So, thank you, Mr. You want to say hi over the mic real quick to everyone at home, Mr. Daniel Dye. Hi over the mic, really quick. Nice. <laughs> so, he's here behind the scenes, uh, sort of. He's going to leave and come back in an hour and a half. But here we go. I'm excited, guys. Any quick thoughts about this before we get started? Uh, no, I'm. Yeah. Cannonball in, man. Okay, so <laughs> during the movie, we will break and there'll be little, like I was telling you, five minutes of discussion time. During the movie, feel free to laugh or go, oh, Lord, or say, you know, something fast, but don't have a whole discussion. Let's kind of try to keep the movie for the movie it, it itself. So, all right, Daniel, thank you, sir. Hit play. Let's go to Palmdale. Palco International presents How to Co. <laughs> I love when they sing about the title of the movie. Teenage Thunder? That was my nickname in high school. That actually makes sense. Robert Fuller? No. You don't even know who that is. Yes, I do. He was in Wagon Train. You're just guessing because everyone has been in Wagon Train. <laughs> Pete hasn't. You don't know that. Timothy McVeigh? Wait, is this a documentary? Shut up! <laughs> That's a McCool name. <laughs> they use the Heimlich maneuver for dialogue. Ow! Teenage Kisses. That was my nickname in high school. The Throttle Merchant. I know that feeling. That's not possible, right? Someone say I'm right. I heard a rumor Dale Tate sued to remove his name from the film, just citing obvious reasons. That's French for Jack McWhack. <laughs> oh, there's your problem right there. It was directed by a dialogue coach. I bet the cinematography is atrocious. That guy gets run over. The end. This is drag racing, the country's fastest growing organized sport. In Utah. Here young men are interested in building something. Useless. In sportsmanship and competition. Here, under every safety precaution, youngsters are finding an escape valve for their great energies. That's what she said. Here the boys who have hot rods race them, and the boys who have not yet built their own rods watch and dream, and go home to design the car they will drive one day. Build their own rods? Look at that car, 22 miles per hour. And he crashed into a mountain. The end. All those cars to choose from, and he chose the one with no windshield. Look at those brand new trucks. And now it's time for the fair. This engine was made from metals mined in Minnesota. <laughs> this is when Fast and Furious was just sort of speedy. Oh, get it, Johnny. Okay, I'm working. And you'd better hurry and get cleaned up, dear. Your father got home earlier than usual tonight. Shut up, Mom! Vroom, vroom! I have that car. So, was that race in his head? <laughs> Why don't you learn to sit up in your chair instead of slopping all over on it? Why don't you learn to stop wearing a suit for breakfast? What time are they coming? 
Well, they said around nine, but you know, Frank, how they're always late. And speaking of being late... I hope you're going to clean up a little, Sonny. Why? Because we're expecting guests for bridge, that's why. I don't want you looking like an ordinary hoodlum. As opposed to an extraordinary hoodlum? Besides, I was thinking of going out. Out. Outside is Where? for losers. Why don't you stay in once in a while? This is your home, too, you know. You paid for it. Oh, but I haven't got anything to turn <laughs> on KPJ. What do you want to catch the clothing stock averages? Up, up, up! Nothing can go wrong! And now for the Wall Street News. You're screwed. Trading was brisk on the stock market today, and the upward trend continued. Record profits reported by several major companies spurred some stocks to new highs. And ironically, the new lows. The split saw Buchanan Oil up five points at the end of the day. At closing, industrials were up 240. Turn it off now. Rails 210. Utilities 190. Volume today, 2,300,000. Does that mean we're rich or poor? Both, actually. Idiots. Oh, Johnny, aren't you going to eat your pie? No. I'm too cool but for sorry. pie. That boy Not gets more pie. sullen every day. He's a rebel without a pie. Why don't you let him take your car tonight? You won't be needing it. He's not going to wreck another one of my cars. But, Frank, can't you see he's unhappy? Oh, that again. Now, now, Frank, look. Creepy. You... Happiness is for losers. Hildy Johnson stole my watch again. Arrest him. She has Ernie's shirt on. Are you Bert? Do you have any other songs? Don't jinx us. <laughs> he seems to have an eating disorder. Well, maybe if they served him something besides pie. <laughs> Ernie's one night stand is observing the crowd. <laughs> Get my gun. <laughs> Was the pie that bad, Johnny? I ate it, didn't I? I like your dancing less than the pop. Wow, we are literally on a collision course with Wendy this year. Bowling. Gonna find me some granny panties. <laughs> what? Look, it's that guy! Hi, buddy boy. <laughs> What's new? McFly, are you in or out? Yeah, not much. <laughs> hey, uh, when's that old man who's gonna loosen up and buy you a ride? <laughs> you said I wanted one. You don't want one like I don't want my two hands. Stranger danger! Look, boy, if I wanted one, I'd have one. So just clam up. Ooh, you shouldn't talk like that, Johnny boy. I can wipe the street up with you. And don't you ever forget it. Oh, I won't. You don't want one, and you don't have one, because your old man still got you in diapers. <laughs> <laughs> what you going to do with pants on, Johnny boy? I'm warning you, Mr. Loudmouth. Don't start anything in here tonight. He wasn't bothering you anyway. Hey, you're even prettier when you're mad. Thus began the meeting. You know, if you play your cards right, I might even let you go for a ride with me tonight. I wouldn't go crazy with you. I wouldn't go crazy with you. <laughs> I have bad comebacks. Sorry about that. It's all right now. You guys sit down and behave. No more dancing in here. Oh, take it easy. No more of that devil dancing. Were they even dancing? I've got my brother's car with me tonight, Johnny. You can drive it if you want to. I'll be through in about ten minutes. You said I wanted to drive anybody's car. Johnny's, Johnny's sort of a, sort of a dick. dick. It's sort of misguided rules. Better hurry home, Johnny boy. It's dark out. Burn! <laughs> oh. Burn! Hi, I have a car and you don't. Burn. <laughs> but he is right. It is dark. <laughs> I love how the lack of lightning keeps us guessing. Hey, buddy, you want to drag? Oh, it's you, Betty. Come on, Dan. Speaking of drag, I've got a dress in the back. They're so weird. <laughs> Normally, when I pick people up, I let them drive. True. Hitchhikers can't kill you if they're driving. <laughs> Twelve days later. That's pretty dramatic music for just driving home. 
This is the most boring game of Mario Kart hey, ever. No! You suck, Johnny! Johnny hits 70! Okay, now go faster, Johnny. I'm wanted in Mexico. Please come now. Quit worrying, will ya? Johnny, please! Are you saying please or police? Because that makes a lot of hope. Oh. It was October. We were working day watch. I carry a badge. Is his name really Johnny? Or are we just calling him Johnny? It's real. Shut up, Johnny. Get out of there. Get out. Kid. Oh, kid. Whose car is this? Mine? Oh, my brother's. You got a license? Yeah, a license to kill. Johnny Simpson. Simpson, 4838 eh? Topeka Drive. I know that section. You Frank Simpson's boy? No. Yeah, but you don't have to tell him, do you? I'll pay the ticket. You think that's all there is to it, huh? 80 miles an hour on a city street? You might have killed somebody. Maybe this girl here. This generic girl here. Get in the police car. You better get on home. Can I talk to her a minute? Okay, make it snappy. <laughs> Sorry, I got some trouble, Betty. Oh, that's all right, Johnny. Come on, snap it up. Yeah, okay. There was no way to Come see on. this coming. So, same time tomorrow, Betty? Look at the lightning. I can't. Seriously? Why didn't they just edit this part out? How about that? Grand Slam and no Trump. Is, Is that, that code? code? One of those in the ears. Well, Henry, you ought to get Mona to teach you the fine points of the game. She plays like she wrote the book. Oh, Frank. <laughs> I taught her. <laughs> Are you cheating, Marjorie? Yeah. You, bitch. <laughs> okay, Betty, lose well, an article of clothing. Two spades. Not again. Pass. Candy Graham. Oh, excuse me. I'll get that. Anything to get out of this game of cards. I'm the one who knocks. What happened? 80 miles an hour on Walnut Street. 80 miles? He was running. He doesn't have a car. Whose car was he driving? We think Betty he might Thomas. be an alien. It's a souped up job. She works at the front page drive-in. Front page drive-in? It was Earl How Williams! How many times have I told you to stay out of those... those hot rods? It's not a hot rod. And I warned him about that girl, too. She's wild. What with the bonnet and all? Well, I'm glad my son is willing to take the blame all by himself for acting like an ordinary hoodlum. 80 miles an hour on a city street is very serious, Mr. Simpson. You'll have to appear with him. Simpson, eh? Right. Loose the dogs. I don't envy you. Judge Grant is pretty tough on this kind of thing. And I should know. I'm Johnny from the future. Great. Oh, yes, well, good night, Henry. Good night. Good night, night. Good night Mona. Do it again sometime. You back. You leave week. now so you night. can beat your kid. Want to go out sometime? Why do you never return my phone calls? John, what am I going to do with you? You embarrass me with my friends? Now I've got to go in front of Judge Grant and take a lot of gut from him. He's wearing the Batman logo. I can hear him now. There are no delinquent children, only delinquent parents. I've heard all about his speeches. And another thing. Raspberries. If you would hit someone, they'd sue me for damages. They could have wiped me out financially. You understand that? I like beats. For over two years now, you've been begging me. Dad, get me a car. Dad, I'll buy, buy me a dress. You'll see. You won't buy me a car. I'll get a job and I'll buy one myself. Dad, oh, let me bury me, those man. hobos. As long as you live in this house, you'll do as I say, you understand? And there'll be no hopped up jobs around here until you're old enough to take care of them. I don't have a problem. Yeah. That's my problem. Yeah. Too cool, Dad. I'm out of here. I can't understand that boy. After all I've done for him. Frank, couldn't you arrange to spend a little more time with him? I'm just too busy Again, staring at this man. Mother dies when he was only three years old, and the child is not a mother. Child? He's 18. But he's still a child in lots of ways. Anyways, let's settle up. You owe me 20 cents. Look, Martha, you're forgetting one thing. I was a child once myself. Like 400 years ago? Before there were cards. He's got a huffer bed. I'll be extraordinary one day.
He'll see. So is this a hopped up job? How you doing, Johnny? Fine, Bert. Just put the oil in the carburetor, all set. See if I let squeak. Yeah. That was nothing. You'll, you'll have to come up with harder ones than that to catch me. Challenge accepted. You get through with that, pick the head off that 46, but then I want to look at the solar wall. Sherbert? I'll be through here in a minute. Sherbert? That sounds good. Does anybody have any Sherbert? Johnny? Do you like movies about gladiators? Yeah. I guess I forgot to put the pan plug in. Don't just stand there and talk about it, put it back in. So, his name is Bert? So we have both Bert and Ernie in Daddy, this movie? Don't let it happen again. Sweet. It won't, Bert. It won't. 23 minutes later... I want to give you some more advice. <laughs> what do you want, boy? Well, I heard you were working here. I just thought I'd drop in and pay my respects. Aren't you glad to see me? What do you want? Um, I just took the man in the gray, greasy suit. What's the matter? The old man cut down on your allowance? Yeah, that's the way it is. Some guy's got to work. He traded up on side you want anything kids. or don't you? Oh, say, I heard the cops <laughs> caught you speeding. It's too bad. You know, you shouldn't drive so fast, Johnny. Or else you ought to borrow a faster ride so they can't catch you. I said, do you want anything or don't you? Okay, how about some fun news? Yeah, now that you mention it. How about cleaning off my windshield? There's only room for one douche in this town, Johnny, and that's me. <laughs> the special today is five pounds of sugar in your gas tank. He's going to do it. He's totally going to clean the windshield. Do you think he's cute? I think he's cute. I love that man. Well, thanks a lot, buddy boy. I'll drop in again sometime. When my windshield's dirty. Burn! Burn! Did you hear that? Windshield dirty? Burn! That's right, huh? Oh, it's all right, I guess. Is he seeing anybody? <laughs> Remember that time I killed that skunk and made a wig? You got any kids, Bert? I think Bert was an Oompa Loompa. Yeah, I got a boy. Just about your age. 17. I'm 18. Are you going someplace with this, Johnny? You're building this for him? Please say no. Not exactly. On second thought, just leave, okay? This polio, Johnny, uh, has been a cripple since he was nine. Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bert. That must be rough. The sun should be the star of this movie. What are you building for, then? You don't see. What the hell? I thought I sure was. Sure do. Hey, you know something, Bert? You take these pots off and go to fuel injection. Then you'll really have something. Fuel injection, huh? Never heard of it. That's an idea. Sure, Bert, because you see, you take the pots off. Oh, those honey, you don't have to sell me. I'm a mechanic. Well, at least I thought I was. Wait, this runs on gasoline? You get started on it. I'll check on the parts. I thought it ran on love. Sure. <laughs> Turns out I'm a baker. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm back from my hopped up job. Honey? Hi, Grandpa slash Dad. Yeah. Come on in, son. It's a trap! Is Mom playing the piano? What in the world have you been doing? Obstacle course with Eskimos. I, I got a job. A job? What kind of a job? Work in a Morrison service station. In a service station? As a grease monkey? You're dead to a me. A job and I like it. Look, Dad, I'm fine. Oh, now, look, Sonny, if, if you want a job during a summer vacation, that's all right with me. But why in a service station? What do you ever learn there? It's what I like, Dad. Have you ever considered stealing? You like? Think big, son. You want to have grease under your fingernails all your life? Now, if you want a job, why don't you come down to the office? I'll put you on as an office boy, and maybe you'll learn something useful. 
Well, I don't His care father is horrible. Estate. Now, how can you say there that? There is nobody you know around you in this it. movie at all. Now, look, Sonny, I want you to quit that job tomorrow. I know I'm no Ward Cleaver. I'm not sure where I was going with that. <laughs> Every character in this movie has some kind of mental disorder. Except for maybe the mechanic. It's quiet up here. Postpartum depression. I stand corrected. I just had to talk to somebody. I mean you, Betty. Well, you can call me anytime, Johnny. You want to talk to somebody. You can call me anytime. Who Betty, wrote this? Why is it the parents never let a guy do what he wants to do? And Betty, why can't we afford a street lamp? 80 miles an hour? No, I don't mean that, but... Is that a cow stove well, where we're driving across the about? lake there? Well, you know, my mother didn't want me to work in the drive-in. But my father thought it was great. Betty, have you ever been in a Turkish prison? I don't know what's wrong with the drive-in. Well, mother thought it was cheap. But my father said the places are never cheap. Only people. She has a face for movies. And if you're cheap, you're going to be cheap no matter where you work. Hey, that's pretty good, isn't it? It'd be the same thing in a service station. If you say so. The guy does a good job. I don't think it matters what he does or where he does it. I don't think it matters either, Johnny. This well, is a horrible use of split screen. You know, if I like it good enough, I'm going to go back to school. Oh, I think you ought to finish high school. The sun is you might want to go to college or something. Yeah, maybe there. you're right. <laughs> Study some kind of engineering, maybe. Like lighting or electric. No, when I get married, if I have any kids, I'm going to let them pick out for themselves what they want to do. And I'm not going to call him Sonny, either. Do you want to get married, Johnny? Sure, don't you? I don't know. I'm going to call them Cloudy. Or maybe Thunder? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, these are the shots they went with? <laughs> Boy... You should see the Swell Rod Birds building. I would be happy to see anything at this point. I sure hope you let me drive. <laughs> well, maybe you will. Oh, I've seen birds oh, ride. come on, Johnny. You might as well be going. He taught me how to make things explode. Well, let's stop and get something to eat first. I'm starved. Well, that I can believe. You're still a growing boy. What's happening? <laughs> it's a trap! All right. That's our first <laughs> fourth of the movie. So what that's do you cool, think? That's well, cool. Julia, what do you think? I, well, from the parts that I can actually see, <laughs> uh, so far it's not as uh, terrible as I was afraid of. But, um, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, just wow. <laughs> that's all I've got so far. I think this early in the movie, and guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but this early in the movie, you don't realize yet just how terrible every person in this movie is. Yeah. <laughs> it's only the dad and the bullies who are, like, made to be terrible immediately, but pretty much everyone gets worse. It, something I completely forgot. Did Johnny just, like, try and punch that tree at the very end? Did it's, he? No, it's well, pitch blackness. I don't know how to <laughs> uh, it'd be. Yeah, and the bullies aren't that bad. I mean, it's always things like, hey, it's dark outside, Johnny. You should be careful when you walk. You know, and it's like <laughs> ice. You know, the bullies aren't so bad. Like, I don't know. They're like, oh, you want a car, don't you? Because you don't have a car. Like, yeah, that's absolutely true. So the bullies aren't <laughs> bad as and I think at this point in the movie, you don't realize Johnny's meant to be the hero. Like you're following him. Around. <laughs> But you think, oh, maybe he's going to have a big change. You know, he's going to have this story arc or something like that. It's like, no, he's set up to be the sympathetic character in this thing. And zero sympathy for the boy. He's just, he's horrible. <laughs> I, I, I'm surprised we didn't make a joke about her being in the witness protection program. Because I kept oh, seeing that when I, whenever I clipped to her, I'm all, witness protection program! What are <laughs> people doing? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about all the horribly lit shots yeah 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 i i got a second the line that's like these are the shots they went <laughs> <Yeah. with." laughs> like, i hate to see what ended up on the cutting room floor you should see bert's rod i would gladly see anything at this point <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, i wonder if they didn't have a shooting permit or something and so like half the movie had to be shot in the middle of the night with no lights I would bet so, because it really starts with a lot of stock footage. It starts with the uh, yeah. narrative, like we're going to get a documentary on drag racing and how that works. And then that just harsh. That's, so they must have had that footage. So, hey, we have the beginning of a movie here. 
and then we'll steal some footage in a garage and out at the park at night you know and you're like it isn't working is that total a tonal change in the like the first 10 minutes of the film mm-hmm. yeah. yeah and the dad like is such a poorly written bad guy you're like oh <laughs> you went got a job you know how dare you and you're like no dad in the world ever has said that every dad's like oh <laughs> God, that's great i can't believe it at least that's you know how i'm hoping it'll go with my kids <laughs> well, they set it up so big with uh, you're not gonna get a job he walks in with the job and it's like oh well let's just get you a better one like what's with the 180 it... yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, it's uh, it's t- it, it, it sets up the whole thing when Alex and Jennifer both say, but they're not in sync. Say Johnny's kind of a dick. Like they're <laughs> starting to realize. Like you start to realize, just like we did when we were writing it for the first time. Mm-hmm. Like, wait a minute, he's he's kind of a dick. Like, and I think we all separately said it at different times. Like, <laughs> what's this guy's problem? Yeah, I'm like, are we supposed to be rooting for him? There's times where people like, and that's the other thing that I think with us writing and as the jokes came through the movie this one we just wrote it we just rode yeah. the wave you know like like because everyone the movie just took care of itself and we just called attention to everything like we right. didn't have to invent mm-hmm. things or do character voices or it was like let's just call out what's going on that's it that's all it was <laughs> kind of wrote itself <laughs> that way i'm curious to see julia what you think of some of his greater moves that are coming up later on. Oh yeah, there's, there, this is just the intro kind of like I was when I was watching. I was thinking, oh, you know what? He isn't that bad yet. Yeah, yeah. And, and I figure, bad. like you, you guys have said a lot about it in the past, so I figure it's it's coming. But yeah, so far it's like okay, you know, he's a teenager. He's getting picked on at home by his dad and the bullies. So yeah, he's grouchy, but you know, man. You know, he has his yeah. smiley moments at the garage and sometimes with Betty, but I, I figure it's coming. <laughs> yeah, and I think that um, we we talked about this a lot, like Bert, the gas station guy, his son has polio, and we kept saying, it should be about the son with polio. Eyes up, yeah. Yeah. Think more about that. Hey, Johnny, did you know that it's dark out here? <laughs> hey, John Cusack. Thank you get a chance, would you dust off my windshield for me? Oh, I checked the water, too. He is yeah. totally leaving himself open to a kidney Betty, punch. How'd you like to go for a little spin with me tonight? You and was... I could really have a ball. <laughs> Why don't you get lost, Lauren? Actually, I Let's am. Let's go, Betty. Can I get directions? No. Don't you know it ain't polite to get up from a table when a man's are we all, walking? Are we all quiet now? Go, what happened? Let's go outside. Did, did right I do now. something wrong? Wait, are you asking me out? Is Johnny in the room with you guys? Blink if Johnny's with you. Besides, there'd be no competition. Matthew, you can see All the right, movie. Man, there's other ways. You'd the going be now? down in a heartbeat. Like, yeah. Like, you're tongue yeah. Johnny, don't let me just Matthew? He's just gonna get you into trouble again. As I was saying. All hamsters are homies. You got some wheels. <laughs> Maybe we can find out just how chicken you are. Oh, but you ain't got no wheels. Is that code? I'll meet you back here in an hour. Johnny? I'll be waiting, big shot. Come on, Betty. Be quiet, Betty. I need your car for something completely unrelated. Remember, one hour. I'll need it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Betty, will you lend me your car? Well, don't you see? He's just trying to get you in trouble with the police again. You didn't answer my question. I literally <laughs> have no choices. I'm going to forget about Maury. Forget about him. Didn't you hear what he called me? A chicken's just a word, Johnny. Well, maybe it's just a word to a girl, but it's not just a word to a girl. I don't want to be chicken like you. Do I get it or don't I? I can't. I don't want you to get in trouble with the police again. Well, it worked so well the last time. Betty, I kind of had the idea you wanted to be my girl. Well, I do want to be your girl. Mm -hmm. You're hurting my arm. Who are we supposed to get behind again? Sorry, Betty. Yeah, he lost me. I don't want your car anyway. (laughs) Something might happen to us. I'm shocked by that statement. Get one somewhere. Shocked. You mean you're going to go through with it? Got to. I gotta get a real fast iron somewhere. Let me check my credit score. Bert's car, we're only finished. <laughs> Wait, I could finish it. Betty, will you drive me over to Market and Third? What for? Now stop asking questions. You said you wanted to be my girl, didn't you? Ugh. Don't you? That means no questions. I guess so. Here, come on. I've been working on this car for the last six months. I think that's as long as we've been watching. 
Wait, she's letting him drive again? Eddie's not too bright. <laughs> Las Vegas used to be totally different. <laughs> the orchestra has no idea what's going on in the film. Do any of us? <laughs> you suck, Johnny! You're a whore, Johnny. Okay, let's go. Why can't he use his door? What are we doing here? You'll see. You just don't say anything. Understand? But... Look, I'm not gonna do anything wrong. You just don't say anything, okay? You wanna be my girl, don't you? Stop so. thinking. Okay, come on. <laughs> and, and then they got married. The end. Oh, now, look, no. Would I kid you? Oh, it's Bing Russell. Who? He owned the Portland Mavericks. <laughs> Crazy. Right. Well, I can wait a As if there was a team called the you Portland do. Mavericks. Man, I sure wish they had them new television phones. The red ones, eh? Well, you look like a million in any of them, but especially... Where are they? The, the rich Texan's Man. house. Uh, you you can tell because he's right in the display now. window. Yeah, pretty soon. Sure. About Even the big characters are horrible people. Sure, I'll get some. You got soda? You sure you got Oh, them? you know what I mean by soda. <laughs> yeah, that's hey, okay. Right. Oh yeah. Sure. Okay. I gotta hang up. I'll got customers. But I'll be seeing you and pretty soon. And for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about sex. <laughs> what can I do for you, kid? Uh, want to look at a car. We close at nine. But it's seven? It won't take long. I know what I want. You want to look at a car? Or you want to buy a car? I might want to buy it if the price is right. Is he going to do this race on a test drive? How old are you, kid? Yeah. Seven? Point one. Huh? Well, you look 35. Where you live? Why? Where do you live? 48, 38 to pick a drive? What's your name? Johnny Simpson. Johnny Simpson? Hey, what do you need with all that? Oh, boy. I didn't say I was buying anything yet. Doing a credit check. Johnny, what are you up to anyway? About five, nine. Ow. Never mind, baby. Just take it easy. Is he going to steal that car? I just checked the Bible. It says you're dead. Well, hi, young fella. Maybe we can do something for you. Doesn't even well, care. Make it <laughs> you got any kind of an idea of what kind of car you're looking for? Fast move. So he's not going to get the car from the garage? Uh, this one here. Okay, but the hood is extra. Don't do it, Bing. Who is Bing again? Bing Russell, the car salesman. <laughs> yeah, everything works. Just don't look in the trunk. How much? Well, I can let you have this one for 400. Mm. A lot of money. If you don't want it, you just get on up. I didn't say I didn't want it. I just meant that I'd have to try it out first. What do you mean? Tonight? Did Johnny did just invent the test drive? I'm ready to go. How long does it take to run around the block? Wait. You want me to run over the sidewalk? Sure, you've got the money. What would I want to try it out for if I didn't have the money? It's not like I'm going on a race. All right. So win the movie. One time around the block, but only once. Understand? I want to be out of here in ten minutes, and I don't mean eleven. If this thing can't go around the block in ten minutes, I don't want it. Never mind the cracks. You just get it back here. So you do want you me to run about. over the sidewalks? Be back. Be back. You want to go along, sis? Not really. I want out of this relationship. <laughs> run, Betty, run. Take it easy! This is the worst hero ever. It's already broken down. And my friend Bing was never seen again. Wait a minute. Oh, we're never going to get back in time. I said you were just gonna go around the park. Really? Betty hasn't figured it out yet? I get it. So he needed to steal the car to use a payphone. Hi, Hans Gruber. Can I interest you in some S and H stamps? <laughs> 
Yeah? Hi, this is uh, Johnny Simpson. You know. Where are you? Oh, on page 113 of the monologue? You were supposed to be back here five minutes ago. Yeah, I know. Well, look, I I'm sorry. Where are you calling from? Well, I'm at Sunland and... Sunland! P.S. I'm stealing the car. You said you were only going around the block. Yeah. Well, look, I like the job a lot, and I, I wanted to see how it would move out before I really decided. I think I might buy it, though. Bean oh, kind of deserves this for trusting John. Hurry, that's all. In a real hurry. <laughs> well, it, it might take a little time. We, we ran out of gas. You what? Well, you guys never keep enough in these things. This is the worst salesperson now ever. You listen to me, kid. <laughs> you said you'd be back here in ten minutes. I've got a real heavy date on tonight. Real heavy. Now, how soon can you get some gas in that thing and get it back here? Curvy well, like a Let me see circle. if I can find a station around here. Hold on. I can't see any. No, I literally can't see anything. Sorry, what are you doing? There's nothing to get excited about. Just take it easy. You want to leave my girl, don't you? <laughs> Worst plan... Ever. Uh, no gas station around here, I guess. But look, I'll, I'll tell you what I could do. I could call up my father and he could bring some over to me. That way I could be back at your place in about an hour or so. I wonder if the lack an of hour. lighting was well, an artistic choice look, or not. Look, if that's too long, after I get the gas, I could drive it on home. And then bring it back in the morning and give you a deposit. Can't help but think I'm screwed. Well, all right. Wait, this worked? But by nine in the morning, oh you have that car in here to me. Or I'll have the cops out there after you. You can trust me. I'll be there. Okay, what if I give it to you two weeks from now? Give you two deposits? <laughs> and now... This shot. I, is this a documentary about parking? Johnny, what difference does it make if he called you chicken? You don't know what he wants you to do. You might get hurt. Betty, I told you, just go home. You want to be, be my right. girl, don't I you? I can't go home if you're mad Ooh. at me. I'm mad at you. It's just a, well, it's just that you don't understand. Okay. Don't you know that a guy's Let me just see her boobs. Girl, thinks he's okay. Then I won't no be mad what at he you. Does. No, no, I don't think that. Well, then go home. I told you to. Johnny, I can't say you're right. Johnny is you a horrible what. human being. You lied to the man about your age and about not having any gas, and, and now you're going to do some other crazy thing. I can't say that's right, Johnny. Well, then go home. Who needs you? Whoa! Sick burn, Johnny. I don't like Johnny. Are we supposed to like him? Because I don't like him. Remember when movies let you see things like anything? What's with the light Do preserver? Really gonna see Dork thinks he's gonna drown. Brush your teeth after every meal, Johnny. Well, what do you know? He got one. Hi, Albert! All of this would be solved if Johnny just punched him. Or didn't steal the car. Or basically anything else. Where'd you get it? The car or my VD? You didn't steal it now, did you, Johnny boy? I wouldn't want to be associated with no car thieves. And my old lady bust a gut if she thought I was running around with a car thief. Let's get to it, Maury. No, I'm not your old lady. Think you can do it with this, huh? It moves. Yeah, well, moving ain't everything. Stopping is part what of I got it, in too. Mind, it takes more than moving. It takes guts. It Name takes it. Twinkies. And some yogurt. You know, maybe when I tell you what I got in mind, you ain't gonna be so cocky. You and me, alone. All right, this is what I figure, big shot. So you and me can settle this once and for all. First place wins Betty. I got a nice lonely spot in mind. Ducklings as all far you gotta do as the is eye can see. There. You know what I mean? Bam. Maxwell's Silver Hammer style. Hey, you look a little pale. What are you scared of, Johnny boy? Maybe you'll be lucky. Maybe you won't get killed. I'm Irish. Well, what do you say, Big Shot? You're gonna back out an hour later. Later. Ready any time you are. Okay, chicken. Okay. Is it wrong to like cool. the bully kid more than Johnny? Hey, looks like your girl's a little worried about you, Johnny boy. If we're going, let's go, boy. Betty, go home. Now, is that any way to talk to a doll like Betty? Shut up, Steve, Dave. Hey, uh, why don't you come out and watch the kid in action? Oh, Maury, please don't get him in trouble again. Now, what's the worry? We're just going over to Comstock and Highway 6 and have a little fun. Johnny, what are you going to do? I said don't worry. Be happy. I can hear the rubber screaming now as your boyfriend hits the brakes. 
He'll never go through with it. Well, look how sick he looks right now. <coughs> Let's get to it, boy. Hey, he puts on a good show, doesn't he? Let's go. Well, Johnny, don't go. Please don't go. Betty, will you go home? You and Laverne should get back to the beer company and start bottling. Go away, will you? Johnny, please! Quit using words. Oh, he'll pay. I think she got that scarf wrapped too tight around her neck. Exactly a quarter of a mile. Turn around and you wait. You know, auto contrast would help this movie mile. a lot. I'm gonna blow my horn three <laughs> times. On the third honk, you roll out to 65, and stay at 65, and keep the white lie in the center. White lie on the center? If you do have any guts, we'll meet nice and pretty like right here in the middle. Oh, uh, I hope you don't get too much blood on your nice new stolen car. Thank you. Oh, and it's dark out here. It's unbelievable the filmmakers thought this lighting was acceptable. Boy, what if he don't stop? Are you kidding? But can't you see how scared he is? It'll stop. What if he don't? How many bad decisions can you make? Theater presents Johnny. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> Right about that time, them Duke boys brought in some professional lighting. <laughs> oh no! Darkness! Johnny's only weakness! What's a half a mile? I go on five, right? They're both going to die. No way. That would make this movie almost good. Good Dean Russell is going to be so pissed when he finally gets his car back. <laughs> they both died and Betty became a pharmacist. The end. <laughs> 70 miles per hour? Johnny, you can drive my car anytime. Is she watching a tennis match? <laughs> she will never love again. She's already basically a nun. Oh god, why Betty? <laughs> this is not going to end well. It really depends on your point of view. Good point. Did Betty just levitate? Because that would make this <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Did they both slap her on the way by? <laughs> Friday and Gannon are on the prowl. <laughs> and then the cops run her over. Wait, now she's up again? I'm telling you, she's a superhero. Stop trying to make this movie better. <laughs> she called them and she gets arrested? That's why you never trust cops. He doesn't even want to know what's going on. And they misspelled sergeant. <laughs> Betty, before tonight I thought you couldn't be oh, more Johnny. of a disappointment to me. What's this all about, Sergeant? Are you Mr. Palmer? Yes. Mr. Palmer, there's no charge against your daughter. Chief just thought you ought to come on down. It seems your daughter's running around with the wrong crowd. Also, she sells heroin, you, but that's a side issue. You Would you mind telling me what happened and how my daughter was involved? And why I'm holding my hat this way? We're trying to kill each other with hot rods. He's the only one we got. Your daughter was responsible for preventing a very serious accident. But if I were you, I'd advise her to choose better company. I appreciate your advice, Sergeant. But go to hell. But I have the utmost faith in my daughter. If there was trouble, I'm sure she had no part of it. Father of the year. Mr. Palmer, I have a daughter of my own. Just trying to be helpful. Thank you, Sergeant. All right, Miss, you may go. Come on, Betty. Now I have to play the brother in trading places. Nice, Johnny. 
Hi, Betty. Good night, Johnny. Hi, Mr. Palmer. I hope you're not too mad at me, Johnny. But I'm a girl. There's a lot of wanted posters of me in here. Hey, sir. <laughs> yes? Your name is spelled wrong. Five minutes of eleven. Can I get closer to you? I'm Frank Simpson, yeah, the voice Yeah, we know. Just tell me what the charges are. I'll find all the charges right in here. Mr. Simpson, it will be necessary for you and the boy to appear before Judge Grant in his chambers, Juvenile Hall, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. I wish Again, some way that I could Judge right, Grant, son, you can go along fine. No, that'll be all for tonight. Later on, the results of that trial. Come on, Johnny. <laughs> Sergeant yeah, Johnson. is Johnny there? What's wrong with you, John? How much time do we Haven't have? Haven't I given you everything you really need? And what do I get in return? Disgrace. First a wild, reckless speeding charge, and now this. A lottery ticket? What's Don't wrong you know with you, game? Tell me what's bothering you. I'm not stupid. I can understand. So did they just leave that car up on the hill? If there's something you want to say, say it. Zygote. John. <laughs> When I'm talking to you, you show a little respect, you understand? And another thing, young man, I want you to quit that job at the service station. That makes perfect Don't sense. Don't look at me as though I were a monster. If you can't stay out of trouble because of cars, you'd better stay as far away from them as possible. That's how I feel about lollipops. Yeah. Now I'm going to go home to my real wife. <laughs> Why, Martha? Why can't I get through to him? I hate my life. I wish I had a line. <laughs> Ten years later. Hiya, Martha. Hiya, Hi, Martha. Hi, Johnny. Lunch? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, did, did anyone call? Mr. Morrison called on the way to work. It's the kitchen of the future. What'd you tell him? <laughs> well, I thought maybe you'd want to tell him yourself, so I just said you couldn't make it. You'd be around to see him later. Also, right. Felix Unger called. Said he was killing himself. I think he had a long number. No. <laughs> Expecting a call? Well, not exactly. Johnny. Well, if I'm nobody called, nobody Your father just called. called me from the office, and from what he said, that judge, well, he must have been very understanding. But you're going to have to be careful from now on. There's this guy who gives me advice? It sounds like he's being mean, but... His room looks like prison. Decorations are for losers. <laughs> it's not enough being grounded. Why do they have to keep playing that theme song in the other room? <laughs> and so our story closes. Johnny lived to age 64, still grumpy with his dad. Mom, has the new issue of Hyperstrophilia Weekly come in? Hey, my cigarette. Oh, why doesn't he call? He's just deliberately being mean, that's all. Why don't you call him? Who is why that? Do that sis? I think that's her mom. Right, that that's her mom? For maybe saving his life? Fellas, just don't look at things that way. Oh, why aren't boys as smart as girls? Are? I'm a girl. Well, if you're trying to start an argument with me, you better pick another subject. I am a girl. I've had my fill of that one. So she knows her place? Oh, listen, honey. Forget about your pride. Get on this phone and give him a ring what if you want to talk to him What writers in this so period much. live with themselves? Oh, he hung up on me. We're calling the police and everything. Well, if he did that, I'd just die. I really would. Mom's advice. Forget about your pride. You don't suppose they put him in jail, do you? Oh, no, silly. He's underage. Probably just gave him and his father a good scolding to warn him not to let it happen again. But if he's not in jail, why doesn't he call? Well, I'm sure I don't know. I pick decent boyfriends. I, I think I'll go out for a little while. Well, if you should run into Johnny, accidentally, tell him I hope everything turned out okay. Okay, Cesar Romero. Going out, Johnny? I just thought I'd go over and see Bert. He said he'd teach me Where's how to count to four. Oh, yes, dear, it's in the kitchen. Johnny, is this your telescope? Why don't you just go on it? Call, Betty. <laughs> Betty. Betty who? Said I wanted to call her. Oh, I don't know. I just thought maybe you might. After all, I'm sure she'd like to know how you made out. 
I don't think she would. I really don't think she would. This movie isn't depressing at all. She just wants to fit into this dysfunctional cast. Well, I'm running away. All I need is my briefcase. That's all I need. Johnny! Why does everyone keep calling me that? <laughs> Betty, where'd you come from? The oh, car just passing by. Give me a lift. <laughs> it was right what? over there. Just going over to over Mr. Morrison's. I just came from there. He said he hadn't seen you all day. Are you both plotting against no. me, Johnny? Oh, come on. You can tell me about it on the way. So I can drive? Oh, wow. She's letting me drive again? What's wrong with that girl? Drink coke. Drink oh, coke. Johnny, the car's Drink on the coke. The judge didn't give too much trouble. Just remember what I said and everything will be fine. Thanks for listening, Betty. Now get out. Hey, what happened to my ace mechanic? Hi, Bert. Hi, buddy. Where were you? Well, I... It's all right, Johnny. Tell him. Massive boating accident. I won't be able to work here anymore, Bert. My aunt's not my mom. My dad's a dick. Here's a uniform. Well, why not? Well, I kind of last night. It's kind of hard to have to tell you, but... You don't have to tell me, kid. Sergeant Benson told me the whole story this morning when he came by for gas. I'm always driving you know, Patty's car. I had to promise my father I'd quit. I hate to lose you, kid. So, he's been working there like a day. Hey, Johnny, do me <laughs> one last favor, will you? The man who for the rod came this morning, would you put him on for me? Sure, Bert. Now he just works here for free. Hey, Betty, come on back and watch me. Oh, that sounds fun. Let's see, when is my vacation time? Vacation time, Sam? <laughs> Let's see. Police? Police. I really should get a degree in this. Okay, we're halfway through. <laughs> and now you start to see things unfold. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> he like, went girl, downhill don't fast. Yeah. Oh, oh, it gets worse. Yeah. <laughs> it gets worse. I want to point out real quick for the record, the Bing Russell scene, the guy who plays the car salesman there, he's like, oh, and Tom's like, oh, it's Bing, it's Bing Russell, my friend. They were friends in real life. So nice. all that stuff that he's saying is real, but because he's saying it as Pete, you just dismiss it as crazy talk. <laughs> and that's, for me, it was like this wonderful inside joke where he's like, oh, he owned the Portland Mavericks and he's saying all this stuff. <laughs> my friend Bing and he's they were really friends <laughs> that's awesome I have anxiety over that stolen truck just like yeah. it never it never went back I'm like that no. guy that guy trusted Johnny Johnny's an idiot <laughs> everyone who trusts Johnny gets burned don't they yeah. not good and they yeah. give you the fake out where he's expecting the phone call where you almost think is he expecting the phone call from the car salesman and they're going to follow up with it no, just Betty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my my Betty. favorite line of the whole movie is that telescope. It's so I was telling Dylan about that huge telescope for no reason. <laughs> huge telescope right there. Oh, Johnny, is this your telescope? <laughs> <laughs> it also looked like there was open sliding glass door there that he walked around to the front door to go through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. This this movie is. Uh, so logical. <laughs> yeah, we haven't even yes. gotten to the worst part yet. Like, the, the most dumbfounding part. Stealing the car is not the worst thing to do. <laughs> it's pretty well, okay. <laughs> I don't know if even, like, stealing the car, yes, that was, that was pretty dumbfounding. But the salesman that was just like, well, okay, I suppose. Yeah. Come Get back in tomorrow, tomorrow at nine. Yeah. Because he's five minutes late and you're a salesman, you don't have gas sitting around like a gas can. You could drive over there to. Yeah. Johnny's what taught every salesman from then on not to yeah. do 
<laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Really been yeah. A game changer for the industry. Yeah. And uh, um, I just don't understand why um, Johnny left his real name and address before stealing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, to get Betty's car, which was parked at the car oh, dealership. Yeah. True. Which they were only at the most fifteen minutes away from. That that is a foolproof plan there. Yeah, Johnny's plans are not overly thought out, and uh... but they work. Like that's the problem with this movie. Is every plan has worked perfectly for Johnny. I had to. I, I, I thought of the joke, and I had to Google what it was. The, the psychological condition where you're drawn to abusive relationships. Yeah, and that's the reference that Betty says. Mom, is my such and such weekly here? As if there was a magazine she subscribes to. But it's such a complicated. Like you wouldn't get it unless like you were a medical person. Yeah, yeah. My Google search was a little interesting for a couple of weeks after that. <laughs> oh, bet your Facebook oh, ads yep. fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, it was. It's fun to just see Juliet go. Oh no, no! Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> like it's just like it just keeps because I knew that's what would happen. Like when we were in the break last time, I'm all, we're not there yet. Like you don't realize how just despicable everyone in this movie is. It's not just Johnny. It, Johnny's the focus because he's the main character, and we're supposed to root for him. Yeah. But everyone. <laughs> uh, I think Bert's okay. Bert's okay. Yeah. Correctly. Yeah. 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 Like, like Bert, you know, Bert's yeah. like, sergeant, the sergeant was here this morning and told me, you know, Bert's like the only decent human being in there. So, yeah. oh, sergeant oh. seems okay. Yeah, sergeant cared. He's just doing his job. Yeah. yeah. The guy, I, really I, gotta have, I, I have to hold on to Bert being okay. That actor, his father, was the brother in Trading Places, the other brother. I wonder. So Ralph, Ralph Bellamy was one and he was the other guy, the skinny one. Nice. That. So when I, that reference came up, I was like, ah! yeah. <laughs> Betty's dad seemed okay too, but I bet we don't see him again ever. I don't well, think we do. You see him dead. <laughs> you, did you, you see him what? Dead? <laughs> so Johnny quit, and now he's ready for free? Oh, and look, the movie's back. <laughs> movie's back. <laughs> Was Bert Charlie Brown's teacher? I don't think this area will take that kind of development. We'll have to figure out some way to cut the costs. Is that code? You see? Iron ore. Everywhere. Yes? There's a Mr. Bert Morris to see you, Mr. Simpson. I can't see anyone right now, Miss Morgan. I'm completely blind. I stabbed my eyes out with a pencil. What did you say? Mr. Bert Morris. Send him in. Send him mints? We'll have to talk about this yeah, later. Yeah, you gentlemen. have horrible breath. In the meantime, try to figure out something on a different cost level. We totally misunderstood. We thought something more expensive. Come all the way down here and we don't even get any lines. Why, ya, yada. It's a session, man. I'm Bert Morris. Sit down. I refuse to sit down. What can I do for you? Well, I, um... I kind of thought I could do something for you. If you know what I mean. Oh. Like what? Mr. Simpson, I know I got no right to interfere in your private life, but... Uh, well, it's about Johnny. Johnny who? What about him? He needs your help, Mr. Simpson. Is that what you came here to tell me? Also, your son is a total douche. <laughs> He's on welfare? Why don't you do something about it? Johnny has everything he really needs. Everything except what he needs most. A father. Now you listen to me, Morrison. Oh, except for a Sim heart. Simmer down, hold oh, your top, and don't help anybody. Now you listen to me. I happen to have a boy just about Johnny's age. But a cripple since he was nine years old, but that doesn't mean I treat him like another mouth to feed just because one of the same. Pretty move. useless, after all. We happen to like each other. We do things together. Lots of polio like things. Yeah, he's got a little woodworking shop. We work in there together. We, we even build model airplanes together. We fly them together. That's nice. Is he getting anywhere near a just point? Just a couple of guys having fun together. 
Can you say the same about you and Johnny? Oh, sure. We can't throw frisbees. Now, if you're referring to the fact that I won't let him have a hot rod or work in your gas station, I think he's given ample evidence that he's not capable of coping or with Or make sort of any thing. choices. Oh, sure, Mr. Simpson. Johnny's got problems. That is very true. But do you know anything about them? Do you know what they are? Ooh. Has he ever come to you and said, Dad, I need some help. How about it? All the time. I think you better leave, Morrison. Yeah. yeah but I first, let's hug. I don't blame you for resenting my interference, Mr. Simpson, but for Johnny's sake, I'd like to warn you to try to find out who he is. Thus, I'm afraid you're in for a lot of heartaches. Too late. Mm -hmm. Mr. Simpson. Go to hell. Help Johnny grow up. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> who was that man? Did he just sell me a house? Johnny, is this a car? Yeah, Johnny. Look, I don't think we should make any changes until Bert gets back. Wait, Bert, Bert just there. left them there Look, until he got back? I can get another 500 RPMs out of Well, I can probably get a ride, but I still think you want to wait until Bert gets back. That sounds awfully well, like a question, ride. Betty. You know, I can talk to him. <laughs> Johnny, do you like it if I, I stare at you without blinking? Johnny, do you like movies about gladiators? Yeah. Oh no, three honks mean the British are coming. <laughs> hey Johnny, I brought you some lunch. Veggies are good for you. Hey, here he comes. Watch this, we'll have a little fun with it. By the way, it's not dark outside. Well, they let you out, huh? I thought they'd give you at least 20 years. Oh, and I got you this birthday card. What do you want, Maury? <laughs> like I told you, I'd be back in when I needed my windshield clean. Dust it off a little, will you, buddy boy? <laughs> it said it was door. What just happened? We'll fix it in post. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Just it off yourself, plain boy. You made a big mistake, big shot. Is it not your birthday? That's the first actual mean thing that kid has done. Get your hands <laughs> off of me! Oh, dude, don't hey. miss the bird. Get him, bird. Come back here. You're gonna be sorry for that someday, Morrison. I just bought him some lunch. Watch, the car doesn't start. Brooke runs the only <laughs> gas station in town, too. That guy is rude. That'd be so awesome if the car doesn't. Like he has to be. <laughs> yeah, my mother. Sure. Sure looks like it. Come on, Johnny. That kid is literally no help to society at all. Well, I think Leto's on. Vacation tire sale? <laughs> this house looks so cheery. Frank, what in heaven's name did you buy those silly things for? Maybe it's a start. But I just isn't there anything else? <laughs> From what I hear, it's one of the first yeah. things he needs to learn. Why can't we make our house more depressing? I don't know what happened to Sonny and me. He used to have fun when he was little. Well, let's start with the fact that you've forgotten his name. Years goodbye. <laughs> Well, maybe he's just a phase of growing up. You know, he's, he's changing. Maybe you're making too much of it. You said it, sister wife! <laughs> you know something, Martha? Maybe I haven't let him grow up. When I hear those robots talking... Well, I guess I better go talk to him. I want to see him put those like gloves on while all. wearing the suit. Thank you. Now, whatever you do... Don't do it! Don't get it. I won't. How are we related again? Reddit <laughs> is amazing. Come in. <laughs> Hi, Sonny. We should start decorating your walls. You Maybe a poster or sure, a bulletin board. <laughs> I uh I talked to Bert today. <laughs> 
Those Dodgers, am I right? Bert Marsh. There's only one Bert in town, Boom. Dad. Sorry to hear about that fight. He didn't hurt me. I'm sure he didn't. But you can hurt him. I thought you might like to uh, learn how to take care of yourself. We're sitting on the same bed, and you have issues. You know, uh, <laughs> I was in college. I was pretty good. Have you seen my YouTube channel? I was midway champion for two years. Yeah? You never told me that. No, I guess we never did get around to talk about that. Either. Or anything, really. Well, By the way, my it? name is Michael. Would you like me to give you a few points? <laughs> we can get up early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's Saturday. Good. Yet yeah, pointless well, observation. Oh, I, I guess it wouldn't hurt me to stay home from the office on Saturday once in a while. I'm bringing my red stapler with me. How about it? Once in a while? Well, if you want to. Are you not my dad, but an alien instead? Good night, son. Good night, Ned. Yeah. Who was that guy? Not the the end. Not Damn. Badly. But you're forgetting to <laughs> keep your guard like up. Cartoon see. hands. Now you've got to keep your guard up and stand this way with your left foot. With your left foot forward. That's it. You're forgetting to keep your guard up. See, I can knock it down too easy. Or I can knock it up. He is totally wearing the gloves now with that suit. Up, so it's that called foxy it. boxing, right, son. See, you weren't watching. Now you didn't keep your guard up. Now come on, get it up. This scene is oddly fulfilling. Now you gotta keep your eyes open. You gotta watch what I'm doing. Now I wanna show you. I wanna show you what a left hook and a right this cross is. This is a house of Satan, I fear. Now that's a left hook. And this is a right cross, see? Now get your guard up so I can't get to you. All right, Johnny, now watch yourself. I want to show you the left hook and right cross again. Left hook. The next time right you cross. get arrested. I didn't hurt you, did I? Now, come on. Lesson over. Throws What's the more? glove down. Come on. Johnny later now went on to be beaten up on a regular basis. Right He's dead for after 20 years, huh? What? All right, come on. Um, I'll try it again, Johnny. Come on. Child abuse? <laughs> All right, come on, boy. Did he just run into the glove? Come on, let's try it again. And he lost his shoe? Johnny! Johnny, listen. It was an accident. You walked into it. He walked into it? Take it easy, son. It was an accident. <laughs> They're so doing what? great. He did it on purpose. I'm going to join a cult, Dad. Dr. Phil is full of crap. Captain America earrings? What were you two doing? I was trying to make friends with my son. Well, what I could see, you weren't doing too well. What are you, blind? We were boxing. I thought we just misunderstood each other, but... It's much worse than that. He really hates me. But I really don't Dang. like that kid. Don't be so melodramatic. Are you my wife Johnny's or my sister? Johnny's always been spirited. In an hour, he'll have forgotten all about it. Come on in the house and let me make you some coffee. Either spirited or just amnesia from the punching. Five dollars. Canadian money. I wonder what that translates to. <laughs> He's got like fifty dollars. That will get him far, like Smokong. Here we go. Why would he want to run away from such a cheery place? Hi, Mr. Oh, hi, Betty. I found that stuck in the door when I opened up. It's for you. Thank you. I've read it four times. <laughs> Mr. Lucas, would you mind terribly if I left for a little while? It's very important. You just well, got sure, here. Betty. Is anything wrong? I don't know. Well, go ahead, but try to get back before the gang starts coming in, late. They'll be here soon with guns and cocaine. <laughs> I know that string quartet is around here someplace. Betty, where are you? Over here. Let's go back where I won't be seen. Johnny, what's wrong? I stole another car. <coughs> You're not in trouble again, are you? No, nothing like that. Then what is it? Another question, Betty? What <coughs> is wrong with you? Oh, Johnny. And that's why I want you to bring me the sandwich. He was right about the not being seen part. I don't know if my father called the police or not. Me and these giant I fluffy gloves know. are leaving town. Yeah, I know. Now, what did you have to go into a thing like that for? I don't have to stay where I'm not wanted. Well, what makes you think that? I read the comments on YouTube. My old man hates me. I bet he's glad I'm gone. 
Johnny, you're imagining things. You don't see that unicorn? But why don't you call him up and tell him where you are? He's probably worried. Huh. He don't care. Well, I don't care either. Did you ever hear about the history of sandwiches? You'll never see me again. <laughs> Johnny, I want to see you again. The only question is, why? Mm-hmm. I wasn't going to run out of you, Betty. I was going to let you know where I'd be. That's your promise not to tell. Oh, I wouldn't tell anybody if you didn't want me to. But where are you going? A land down under, Betty. I don't know, but I'll get in touch with you. I wish you weren't going at all. Light. He's an FBI informer. No. John, known also as Sonny. Can. What? How can she love this guy? I like you too, Betty. Oh. Wow, I thought I'd like that more. Sorry. Are you going tonight? Well, no, I, I thought I'd get some sleep first and get an early start. I'm going to sleep in Bert's car here. You're cute, Betty, but you're not going to age well. Well, I, I guess we better say goodbye. <laughs> yes, please. But, but, you want to meet my girl, don't you? Bye, Betty. Betty was never seen again. Johnny was later found bullied in the void. Are we supposed to know what's happening? He must have forgot his key. I'm fighting these shadows, see? And scene. Great! Now, class, let's discuss. <laughs> Three o'clock. Frank, when are you going to swallow your silly pride and call the police? When my mother tells me to. Well, I want to wait just a little bit longer. Maybe he's just being stubborn and deliberately staying out late. Oh, Frank, you know he's left. He posted and it on Facebook. If the police can find him, maybe. Maybe he'll give you another chance. And why are we in a cabin? Give me another chance. Frank, Frank, I have told you for years and you, you've never listened to Anyways, me. Anyways, I think Leno's on. Love isn't something you can demand. You've got to earn it. What? Somebody else said something just like that to me only yesterday. He's dead now. <laughs> no, Bert, no! Hello? Wife be gone? Give me the police. <laughs> police! Our electricity is out. Speaking. My boy is missing. <laughs> what wouldn't I make a murder find. look obvious? Yes. All right, you want to give me a description? John Simpson. Age? 18. He doesn't Height? remember him? He's five, arrested five. him twice! Wait. <laughs> One, five, five. Did he have a car? No. No car. No car. Apparently on foot. All right, I'll put out an all-points bulletin on this. I'll let you know just as soon as I hear of anything. Better give me your phone number. So where is the Dickens, thunder exactly? Two, seven, three, <laughs> six, eight. All right, I'll do that. Good night. Good night. Good night, Phil. Looks like we're married for another week. <laughs> mm, a woody. Shut up. That's what they're called. Lock totally worked yesterday. So Johnny broke into the gas station? Dear Bert, stole the car. Sincerely, somebody you don't know? <laughs> Johnny is a total idiot. That's the one guy who liked him. Hello, police. I want to report a stolen car. Yeah, a hot rod. That's right. License KXY 635. Look, that's that idiot Johnny. You suck, Johnny. <laughs> You're a whore, Johnny.
we join our heroes on the way. <laughs> Bird is finding his center. Hey you, can you help me find a bigger car? <laughs> You were right, and I was wrong. So, want to go get a beer? Well, I beat him up. He didn't like that either. Some say Spokane. He left home. Is it, though? <laughs> you know where he is? Of course not. I'm sorry, Morrison. I, I shouldn't have thought you had anything to do with it. I do. If you hear from him, <laughs> will you let me know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Mr. Simpson. Sometimes I have Betty odd feelings. <laughs> yeah, I talked to Betty. She knew anything she wasn't telling. She acted kind of strange, huh? Almost like she was in an abusive Why relationship. <laughs> okay, that guy is a total dick. I love that man. Hey, you want to play cards against humanity? I have the Book of Mormon version. <laughs> wow. He might be on the road. I'm going to go call the road. <laughs> Hello. Johnny? Hello? Betty? How did he get Betty's home number uh, again? Stole. Your car. Good question. Johnny is an idiot. Oh, he's going to Palmdale. That explains everything. <laughs> it does? No. <laughs> Palmdale. I hear all the girls Why in Palmdale are sluts. How did you find out? Bert called me. He said he had a hunch you'd taken it. Also, he checked your Instagram. I just borrowing it. I'll see that Bert gets it back in a few days. But the police are looking for it. And Bert needs it today. Today? What for? Apparently he it's stolen. He was in San Fernando this afternoon. It was for his son. He was going to raise Why is man. Johnny constantly surrounded by now. darkness? Johnny. Johnny Burke told me to tell we you that unless you bring the car back, it will break his son's heart. He's been counting on it for months. You're not going to tell him where I am, are you? I promised I wouldn't, Johnny. But he's right here listening. But does that mean you're not coming back? No. No, I'm not coming back. I didn't know you were going to steal a car, Johnny. I didn't steal it. And that car salesman Bert shot said, himself. Stop looking for the car, but he knew where it was. <laughs> oh, but if you don't come back in time for the races, Johnny, I don't know what he'll do. I'm the victim. Don't you see? How many cars do I have to I steal before you realize I'm the victim? Friend. I can't help it, Betty. I don't want to go back to that house. Tell Bert that I'll get it back, but he'll have to wait. Yeah, because you're totally trustworthy. And tell him I'll take real good care of it. I'll call you tomorrow. So right. Johnny steals the car from the one guy who liked him and just lets... Oh, I guess it just got cut off. It's probably going to start with her talking when we're done talking. Yep. So now, now we got it, Juliet. Now you know the depths of which Johnny goes to, to show how much of a hero he is. Johnny's a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like everything he does is like, wow, that's a yeah. total dick move. Like, yeah. your life isn't that bad, dude. Like, <laughs> I mean, yes, his dad is definitely also a dick, but... But, <laughs> come on. Oh, wow. So he steals a second car. And From goes Bert! Crippled... Well, for oh, his okay. crippled child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and heads to Palmdale. Matthew, you want to tell the funny Palmdale story that of the writer room? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we were obviously watched this movie and writing, uh, writing the jokes. And uh, we started bagging on Palmdale. Uh, and my wife walked by and got real defensive because she grew up in Palmdale. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I think she heard the, the line, like, uh, like only sluts come from Palmdale or something like that, and uh, oh. she wasn't very <laughs> happy at all. Yeah. No, I would imagine not. <laughs> so what's wrong with Palmdale? And we're like, oh, like, no, 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 no. Palmdale, <laughs> we love Palmdale. <laughs> <laughs> 
But it's just the <laughs> it's the stupidest plan. We always loved. I remember like when we were on the road, we'd see signs for Palmdale, yeah. and we'd be like, "Oh, Palmdale, let's go see Johnny." I got twenty. <laughs> Yeah. I'm also just realizing now that this race, which is the crux of the whole movie, has never once been mentioned. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Hey, we just didn't yeah. know about it. But yeah, but that's the critical part of it, right? <laughs> yeah. That he yeah, has to get back writing. to tomorrow. Yeah. And Johnny left the day of the race or the day before the race, like an idiot. To help the, to help the kid with polio, who, by the way, we've never met. <laughs> yeah. No, mentioned once. Wow. Yeah, that's bad writing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, every wrong choice. This movie makes every single <laughs> Yeah. You yeah. know, those scenes were just completely dark. And so those were the ones that got cut. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, yeah. So we got the one more light. finale of the movie coming up. But uh, so Juliet, see what remaining now. Like Johnny's a horrible person. Like yes. really, like horrible person. And it's like you at towards the end, like you get you know, there's a confrontation, one more big confrontation with the bully, and you got you, you're like weighing it in your head, like, well, huh. <laughs> <laughs> the bully kind of says stupid things and doesn't have good insults but Johnny stole two cars <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah I kind of find myself wishing they'd both taken each other out and you know <laughs> although Betty got in the middle why Betty why nothing why? but bad decisions from Betty too yes <laughs> Betty makes every bad decision possible as well and um <laughs> This was the movie when we were writing for the season. This was the movie Dan's back because I see his mouse movement. This is the movie where that we always went back to discussing. Like we'd be out to dinner, <laughs> be like, "Okay, wait, 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 we need to keep talking about Teenage Thunder. Why does this? You know, like, like could not let it go. We could not understand. And like at one point we rewrote it. We're like, "Okay, wait a minute." And like, right? What if everything was from the point of view of the the polio kid? Who we haven't don't even meet. Right, like, but we're like, what? What if it was his story and Johnny was the villain and Johnny was doing all these horrible things? That's a good movie, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> Taking his dad's attention away, you know, right. stealing his car. Yeah. Yep. I mean, even if it was just from the point of view of Bert, and we got to meet the son and see their relationship, that would be, I think, a better movie. Like, he's got this kid who's you know, having a hard time at home and he's trying to help everybody out and just like, I don't know. I, yeah, I think even Bert's point of view would be better. Would I be think crazy. the bully's point of view would be better. Anybody, anybody. <laughs> Betty's point of view would be like unicorns flying and talking <laughs> dogs. And no idea what's going on in Betty's head. I want to see what Johnny is doing in Palmdale, <laughs> except for ruining somebody else's life. That's all he does. <laughs> I think Johnny is the only reason why the police department has a telephone system at all. <laughs> I knew that wasn't Johnny because he didn't take out the mailbox. <laughs> Would you like to buy some sports equipment? I love there's little references to the shorts. Yeah. So, this is a house. Oh, Mr. Thought maybe I could take you out for a I burger. <laughs> you mean you heard from him? No, not exactly, but I have an idea where it'll be this afternoon. You want to go meet him? I'll get my hat. A mythical place called Spokane. Johnny is somehow going to manage to destroy 50% of those cars. <laughs> Wait, drag strip? Shut up. Oh, Johnny must be here. It's covered in shadow. <laughs> Are we in Palmdale now? Is Palmdale in the void? <laughs> the music implies a serial killing. Dick Tracy, in color. 
I, I thought the cripple kid was nine years old. My question is that he's not really that crippled. That's not a question. <laughs> That's supposed to be him? Morrison, I don't know why you brought me here. This is where and you're who this dick is? Where you'll find the That's my polio son! Oh, sorry. He's like 21! <laughs> and now the pace car pace off. Yep, this is what my prom was like. <laughs> All right, number eight and number 69 on the starting line. Number eight is being handled by Steve Malati. This is my first time number on film. Number 69 Bill. is being driven by Maury. So the speaker is just in that room? Who's he? The kid that's got a special talent for getting your boy into trouble. Oh, that guy. Oh. Dad, I don't see our car. Don't worry, Jimmy will be here. Or my name isn't Mr. Barristar Cottage Cheese. Now listen, Morris, and I don't see any reason why. <laughs> there they go! Why are they racing a truck again? I can't wait for the Dukes of Hazard to be invented. <laughs> I can honestly say I'd rather watch wheat grow. And it's another win for Laurie <laughs> Weston. That's the third dragster he's beaten. All against trucks. <laughs> Look, Morrison. <laughs> all the way out here, you gave me a lot of double talk about an afternoon like this being good for me. Now, will you tell me what we're doing out hey, here? Hey, Squire. All right, sir, sir. It's in the tent over there. Watch out here for Johnny's sake, not yours. I think you might learn something about your boy today. See, stole my car last night. It was a special rod I was building up. He what? What? I broke the lock on the garage and took the car. You mean the police are looking for him? Oh, no, no. I called him off. I told him I knew where the car was. Oh, then you do know where Sonny is. No, this Not is where exactly. I murder you and bury the body as it. revenge. <laughs> oh, he's too good a kid to let me down. Bert, you're a terrible judge of character. <laughs> yeah, there it is. But we love you anyway. You still here? Hey, Tommy! Marchio! Polio! Too far, guys. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> wow! I'm just gonna park wherever I want. <laughs> I was wondering if I could borrow some gas money and re-steal your car? <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. You're a whore, Johnny. Johnny, this is my boy, Jim. My dad hey, says you're a real dickhead. You're gonna win, aren't you? <laughs> you mean... Well, who did you think was going to drive? Franklin Roosevelt. I want you to win for Jimmy. And win for me, too, son. Johnny. Thanks, Dad. Every single one of my bad decisions have paid off. This yep. is swell. <laughs> yeah. But if you lose this race, the cops are going to take you to jail. That seems fair to me. That seems more than fair. Hey, is that thing really fast? It sure is. Yeah. Miracles do happen. Competing in our next race is Maury Weston driving his own tea tub. <coughs> and Johnny Simpson driving a 29A. Both cars are flathead engines. Speaking of flathead, Johnny is driving Johnny for Simpson. a boy who has had polio since he was nine years old. And this boy is here with since? us today to see his first race. Good luck, Jimmy. Look at him. He's all crippled over there. Look out for that pothole up there. Jerk. <laughs> if it was anybody else but you, I might even lose for the kid. What if all this time that guy is the good guy? I gotta settle with his old man, too. Don't do me any favors, Maury. Don't worry. Why are you such a Just jerk? Just keep out of my way or I'll drive all over you. Hear how I burned him there? <laughs> so, if Johnny wasn't racing, the bully would let the crippled kid win? It's yeah. like everything Johnny does causes the suffering of others. <laughs> White pants and white shirt is not a good look for him. So, you want to forget this stuff and go watch the Bob Newhart show? <laughs> we love that man. <laughs> Say what you will, this is more exciting than pod racing. Can someone look in the rule book and see if it's possible for both of them to lose? <laughs> That's 
that's not what drag racers do. They're coming right at us. Ah! Is this drag racing or bumper cars? It was a tough choice, but I'm rooting for the bully. It was a tough choice? <laughs> <laughs> That was totally anticlimactic. I'm grinning like an idiot, but it's not because I'm happy. It's because I'm an idiot. Fight! 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 Let's go. Let's ditch him. Yeah, let's leave him. Let's get out of here. Wait, what? I've seen this part before. He's going to get whooped. Come on. I want to see Bert smack this kid. Which one? Both of them. <laughs> His friends are just standing there. They probably figure he doesn't need any help. Body blow! 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 Polio Kid is loving this a little too much. <laughs> Sweep the leg! Well, son. You're a douche. Looks like you won twice today. Three times, I'd say. All's well that ends well. Johnny! Why do people keep coming back to no, this guy? Did he know? <laughs> I was yeah, here fine. the whole time. Hey, you know I ran back? all the way since you I stole all now? the cars. <laughs> you were really great. You sure know how to drive. Thanks, John. You ought to get a hot rod of your own. Never mind the foul stench coming from hey, the truck. Hey, why don't we sell them ours and we could build another one. That's an idea. An idea that a polio kid what do would you have. Say, Johnny? Should we make him an offer? Could we? Anybody who knows how to drive like Johnny ought to have a hot rod. I can't drive because well, I have a cane. Uh, can we drive it home? <laughs> I'll stop by your station tomorrow and settle it up. Saddle it up? It's all right. You don't know condition. much about cars, do you? <laughs> to let Johnny come back to work for me. I can't get talent like that every day. It's a deal. Now, how hey, about Johnny? that dance? Oh, I love that man. That's right, son. One day he's going to be dead. And this is how our story ends with the dad of driving. We need Biff Sports Almanac. I'm drunk with power. Hey, Dad, slow down. This is a highway, not a drag strip. I'm only doing 60. I do not believe that car can do 60. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Quick, Johnny, switch places with me. I have a <laughs> reputation to uphold, and everyone. Shoot him, Johnny! We're headed for Palmdale! You <laughs> should make a run for it. <laughs> I think I'm sitting on a go gurt. Mr. Simpson. Your kids are going to have to accompany you to court. Oh, hello, officer. <laughs> we were, uh, just trying out our new car. Riding around in hot rods now, and with that wild girl, Betty Palmer. Wild girl? Judge Grant's going to be mighty upset about this. <laughs> or is it? Oh, no, please, God, yes. <laughs> How the hell do we do this international? <laughs> Ta-da! Yay! <sighs> Teenage Thunder, everybody. Yes. <laughs> and Johnny's coup de gras, he ruined his father's life. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Final oh, thoughts. They have something yes. in common. The first time viewing this wonderful masterpiece. Could it officially end? 
It did, Dan. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Feel free to chime in if you want to. I was to. just about to unmute to say, yay, I got back when it was over when it started up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw your mouse moving around. So, Juliet, final thought. What do you think of Teenage Thunder? Words escape me. <laughs> okay, okay, here. I'm trying to get us all in the center, but I'm I can't. So never mind. Was the aunt the sister of the dad or the sister of the mom that's no longer there? I want to know. Yeah. And what happened to the truck that he stole and just left on the side of the road? I think I, I need to know these things. That was the truck in the race later. I think wasn't it? It was the same truck. Oh, no. somebody else stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw it in Cloverdale outside of Santa Rosa. <laughs> Dude, I, know, I, I, think, I think we need a sequel that so that we can get like these if answers. Said, the car from no. Teenage Thunder, I'd be like, I'm bidding on that. Bidding <laughs> on that. <laughs> a pretty cool trilogy for this movie. Uh, were, uh, the Rise of Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Also, so, what was in Palmdale? How is that the place you run away to? <laughs> he sure know. didn't spend very much time there. Yeah. Unlike us, here at the Return yeah. to Palmdale show here, the special. Um, <laughs> so I, I, we, we will throw up a graphic that says the Return to Palmdale at some point. That'd be wonderful. But like, uh, uh, I will say that I, I didn't understand this movie at all. And then I saw um, for the first time, long time after we wrote this for this, um, a Rebel Without a Cause. And they, it's obvious if you compare the two that they saw Rebel Without a Cause, decided to remake it and make every wrong decision they possibly <laughs> could. The only difference is I also hated Rebel Without a Cause. <laughs> without a cause also has no one of any value at all in the entire movie and the main characters are all horrible and like yeah so well at uh, least they tell you right there in the title yeah yes that's true this is teenage thunder man we uh, <laughs> uh but again like the things the reason i think this film sticks out with us internally like the rabbit ears crew and cast i think the most is because we just ran with the weakness of the movie like i could laugh at, at jennifer talking like betty every time like it doesn't matter mm -hmm. you know like i want out of this relationship those jokes could just i could sit there another hour and listen to that and and all the references to everyone hating johnny it's like because we literally did hate this guy yeah like <laughs> and so that it wrote itself all that just kind of wrote itself it was so fun i also think because it had absolutely no redeeming qualities right usually in these movies there's something you can pick out that you like but every single thing that came up was somehow worse and just as bad as what you we just dealt with <laughs> yep 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 so I, I loved it and from a historical point of view it was so weird because we wrote and recorded and edited together this film two years before it was released because if you guys remember the live action that we didn't watch tonight that went along with this was the musical oh yeah there's so many problems with the musical that it kept getting postponed but the film was done like the everything written recorded edited down you know what the film was done for two years and it mm -hmm. was just sitting there and that was one of the big fears i had was that the show would get canned before we could do the musical and Teenage Thunder would never see the light of day. I was so scared about that. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that it did make it. Teenage Thunder! Yeah, I, I can definitely see why, Dylan, you wanted us to, to, to do this and watch this because, like, I think I'm glad that I wasn't writing for it, so I didn't have to watch it without the commentary and without you <laughs> folks there watching it with me. <laughs> but with, yeah, like with all that and just having, you know, people there with me and like that, it was, I, I thought that was, that was actually a lot of fun. You want to be movie my girl? Itself, <laughs> I know, oh my God. But there was also the question of like, 
did I just build it up too much in my head because we did this so long ago? <laughs> was Johnny really that much of a dick? And even yeah. into that first part, I'm like, he really isn't that bad. But well, at the end of the first the part, end, you're like, eh, I'm not sure where this is going. Right. But, but we got there. I, I remember oh, it yeah. pretty clearly. Then, yeah, then immediately after. after that first part. Yeah. Immediately. <laughs> like, I, I saw the look on Juliet's face when he started shaking her. <laughs> She even says you're hurting me, and she's just like, "Oh!" <laughs> and it just I got turned worse. into Murray. I was just, I was gonna go for him. Yeah, I love yeah. the kiss. The, the when you're like, and by, at that point you're like, "Don't kiss him!" <laughs> ah! And then Jennifer says, "I thought I'd like that more." <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's so great. It's almost like we we served to correct the mistakes. Right. You know, we, we adjusted it to where it needed it's to so, be. Exactly. It's so much better with uh, what we've added to it. Honestly, yeah. I hate to like give ourselves a big pat on the back, but it's actually an enjoyable movie now. Where it was yeah. so hard to watch the first time, so painful, and it was one of those things that we kept coming back to, like years later. Like, why did Teenage Thunder happen? Like. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> else all of a sudden most movies you could you even if you you could see why they were made like you're like okay i see what they were going for yeah. or you know and teenage thunder was always like why <laughs> let's make every wrong turn yeah and it pays off it pays off for johnny he gets a hot rod his dad goes to jail like everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to Jennifer idol of the about, like, all like, my all my bad decisions have come back to prove me right or something like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. What? <Crazy. laughs> yeah. So I thank you guys for being here and for uh, watching this along uh, after all this time. It was so fun. And uh, let's never do this again. But this was so <laughs> fun. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. No, it's got to be like, you know, every five years or something. Got to yeah. revisit Teenage Thunder, I think. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Don't a play for teenage kisses. Don't know why they do for teenage kisses. Can graduate and make a love that's true. When they see us out together and we're